Welcome to another VAC Minute Monday. In this Minute Monday, the conversation is going to be about Drenth, the DG500 gearbox, which is pictured here. This is the most popular uh, application for road racing, hill climb, rally, power levels that are not quite drift power levels, but a lot, it can handle a lot. So this can handle, let's say uh, in the BMW world, S54 engines, a high horsepower S54 can handle S65s, so it can handle S62s. Once you start putting turbos and start making crazy torque, then the next gearbox after that's gonna have to be the MPG. So what we wanna talk about is that this is really like a universal gearbox. You have the flange back here, and these flanges are available in different diameters for the different applications. Uh, this does have a built-in pump as well. So you can see the cooler inlet and outlet over here. You can operate this. This is set up for a lever shifter. So you could operate this with the lever or it could be converted and used with paddle type. So with the paddle shift, we would typically use like KMP and there are Geartronics and a few others that you could also choose. The bell housing, since this is more of a universal, the bell housings are available for different applications to adapt to this. So if you look on the back side here, you'll see that there is an adapter for this particular application here. So what I also want to mention is that uh, in addition to the Drenth, VAC, you know, we do have full solutions and we've, we've had full drivetrain solutions and clutch solutions for, for decades actually. We initially hooked up with Tilton in 1997 when we were running a tube frame car in SCCA GT3. So what we're gonna show you, I'm gonna come around here, what we're gonna show you is the setup, this particular setup, the flywheel, the seven and a quarter, which is popular because the se this seven and a quarter is not the race version, it's the Sarah Metallic. So you get better drivability, you get thick discs instead of about 100,000 thick. These are, you know, much thicker. So you get much better life. And um, it is, becomes a plug and play. If you look inside the bell housing, you'll see that we have an adapter plate and the hydraulic release bearing. The lines extend far enough that you can have your bleed line outside to, to bleed it comfortably. So full solutions for your sequential gearbox and your Tilton. We will have another feature on Tilton separately. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click VAC Motorsports.